Here are five edits all After Effects users should know. With these techniques, you'll be able to add love and flavor to every project in no time at all. Starting off of our first edit, you must know how to create this beautiful seamless transition between two shots, which I call a flick transition. So create yourself an adjustment layer, go to effect, stylize, and select motion tile. Add a keyframe for tile center right before your first clip ends. Then move forward to right after your next clip begins and animate the X or Y value. You'll see that this repeats our footage. Then enable motion blur so everyone knows you're a pro. And now you have this great transition between your edits. This next edit will help you capture attention by adding movement to your footage. I call this a warp zoom. Like before, create an adjustment layer and apply the motion tile effect. Deja vu already, I know. But before we do anything, go to the store and apply the transform effect. Keyframe the scale from 25 to 100. Since we're zooming out of our shot, increase the output width and height to fill the composition back up of your footage and check mirror edges. Unless you're going for an Andy Warhol look, go back to the store and apply optics compensation. Place the optics effect between motion tile and transform. Then click reverse lens distortion and keyframe the field of view from 125 to about 60. Feel free to make your last keyframes easy ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now you can pull people in with this great warp zoom. A very popular edit is working with mats to open and close your edits. One way to do this is by creating a black solid layer. Then hit S on your keyboard to bring up the scale. I'll unlink the scale by breaking the chain and you can animate the scale from zero to 100%. However, I'll set it to 90% for me. Now you can set the blend mode of the solid layer to stencil alpha. This will quickly create this opening reveal. Since you're in After Effects, you have access to all these great effects, so why not use them? This editing technique allows you to do that with ease. Anytime you want to be creative with your effects, create an adjustment layer and apply any effect that you want. I'll use the tint effect to change the color of my edits to red. However, I only want this to be up for a few frames at a time. So I'll animate the opacity of this adjustment layer from zero to 100% and animate it out from 100 back to 0%. I can copy and paste a set of keyframes across the entire layer. This way my effect only shows up at random areas of my project. I can then duplicate this adjustment layer and offset it in my timeline. I can then delete the current effect and apply another effect. I'll use displacement map. With this effect, I can set my map layer to a shape like this and adjust the displacement value to create a glitch. Now, as we play back through this, we have a much more interesting edit that we can easily add onto with effects. So be creative and remember, there's no wrong answers. Before I reveal our last editing technique, if you haven't already, be sure to get our free 100 templates for our Motion Duck extension. You can use these templates to enhance all your edits with one click of a button. And you can use our transitions for After Effects and Premiere Pro to beautifully tie your scenes together. So be sure to check the link in the description below. The last edit is all about adding details to your project. For example, I can add these quick symbols to make my edit more appealing. To do this, type out any character or import any graphic. Keyframe the opacity of the layer to flicker out by creating a series of keyframes that animate from 100% to 0%. Now you can duplicate your symbol a bunch of times and randomly move and offset it. Then you can easily select all your layers and pre-compose them. Then duplicate the composition and rotate it 190 degrees. This way you can quickly add variations of your current symbol map to different parts of your edits. Now with all these edits put together, you have a really dope video. Or you can just use one or two of these editing techniques to create something a little bit more specific to your needs.